how is uh, Summers tomorrow acclimating to uh, Churchill Downs? He's doing really well. Um, he's traveled well. Uh, it's a long journey over though. Um, he went from Dubai to, to Chicago and Chicago over here. Uh, but all's been good so far. He's, um, he's gaining his weight back on and uh, he's looking good and everything is going to plan so far. Hey, what were your thoughts on the race in Dubai? How, how that unfolded? We ran really well. He's a, he's a horse with a lot of speed. Um, you know, I think one thing he, he will have experience over a lot of horses here. He's had eight starts. So, um, yeah, like the UAE Derby ran a very good race. It was his first two turn race. Um, and before that, he'd only run seven furlongs. So I think, I think the conditioning really caught him at the end of that race. But uh, I don't think this time it will. I think he's conditioned for it. So hopefully he'll run a good race. In, in the UAA Derby, he showed a lot of speed. He got out in front of Pinehurst, one of uh, Bob Baffert's horses, a pretty fast horse. Do you think he'll show that same speed in the Kentucky Derby? Well, we hope so. Uh, that's the plan. I mean, um, every race he's uh, every race he's run, he wants to be up there on on the pace, and um, he's got a speed speed for a sprinter, and hopefully he's got stamina for a mile and a quarter horse. And you think that just uh, the extra race and the extra conditioning will help him get the mile and a quarter? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's that's what we believe. He had a he had a good good breeze before uh, before we shipped him. He worked six far long before we shipped him. So. Um, I mean, yes, it's been about 10 days we haven't breezed him because, you know, it's been a long journey. We want him to recover. And I don't think he needs much anyway. Uh, we'll just do a four furlong on Monday. All right. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.